This is a woman. And as long as she can sense, I can touch her. This is because we're both made of matter. Video games don't have matter, therefore lack of explicit consent means that touching is impossible. This is very different from the real world where touching without consent will get you a job at Activision Blizzard. But if video games don't have solid matter, why can you smack the taste out someone's mouth in GTA V? The answer is colliders. Colliders are a lot like people who are tired of capitalism. They get together and validate one another, then they proclaim that validation to everyone around them, and everyone agrees, but then nothing else happens because no one knows what to do next. Luckily, in video games, a programmer is there to tell the computer what to do next, and that thing will get done because no one is lobbying to stop it. Very cool. But where's the secret? Since colliders are their own thing, they don't need to match what you see on the screen. Game developers often make colliders smaller than the object they're on to give players a bit more leeway. This also solves the problem of hitbox dissonance, otherwise known as there's no fucking way that shit hit me. Next time on Game Dev Secrets, I'll be answering the age-old question, is a train a hat? The answer may surprise you, so like, comment, and follow for more.